so this is ivf procedure in front of you in just one slide now i'm making this presentation for all of you so that you can understand and get a an overview about how ivf treatment is done so you can see on your left side the point number 1 that is injections so typically what we do is we give injections to a woman from day 2 and we continue these injections right up to day 10 or 11 of her menstrual cycle these injections are administered on a daily basis and these injections are absolutely painless injections contrary to the perception these injections do not cause pain because they are given often under dermis that is under skin or sometimes intramuscular now for these injections these injections can be administered at home and you don't need to visit hospital for that now coming to the second point that is ultrasound monitoring of the follicles now if you see once we start giving injections what happens is in women's ovaries what starts happening is there are multiple follicle formations which starts happening and with the help of ultrasound monitoring we can actually monitor how many eggs are developing in each ovary so what we typically do is we call women on day 6 of her menstrual cycle and then again perhaps on day 9 or day 10 for an ultrasound and on in that ultrasound we get to see how many eggs are developing and what's the size of those eggs now once we are ready with the eggs which typically happens on day 10 or 11 of the menstrual cycle that's when we decide to trigger those follicles means for them to get mature we administer one injection and once we do that then exactly 34 to 36 hours later we call patient for ovum pickup that's point number 4 in front of you and in this ovum pickup what we do is we retrieve those eggs outside her ovaries we retrieve those eggs from her ovaries into the test tube this procedure is fairly simple it's done literally in 5 minutes it's a painless procedure done under anesthesia and patient can go home in maximum 2 to 3 hours from the time of the procedure now once we retrieve those eggs those eggs then they are taken to the ivf lab and in the ivf lab we incubate these eggs and then we perform a procedure called as icsi that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection wherein we literally inject man sperm into those eggs under microscope and that is why it is called as intracytoplasmic sperm injection now once we inject these eggs with the sperm after that we keep these eggs inside the incubator and there the journey of that for egg from fertilization to formation of a completely grown blastocyst that is embryo happens inside the incubator so this is a very important step wherein the growth of these embryos are monitored on daily basis and we can actually see how many eggs are actually getting converted into a fantastic day five blastocyst now you have to remember not all eggs can get converted into blastocyst perhaps 60 to 70% eggs can form blastocyst and then these are the embryos which are fit to be transferred into the woman's womb now once on day 5 we get these blastocysts ready we transfer these embryos back into the patient's uterus which is called as embryo transfer now if we transfer these embryos in the same menstrual cycle that is 5 days from the time of pickup then we call it as fresh embryo transfer sometimes we decide to transfer these embryos in a subsequent menstrual cycle which is called as a frozen embryo transfer now the success rate of fresh and frozen embryo transfer both is nice and the individualization happens based upon the endometrial thickness and hormone values the embryo transfer is done absolutely in awake condition patient can see it it is absolutely comfortable there is no pain involved and after embryo transfer we send the patient back to her home of course the woman is given injections and few medicines for subsequent 14 days and after 14 days we check her blood 
for serum beta hcg level to find out whether she has gotten pregnant with that embryo transfer or not now that's ivf cycle in just one slide for you if you have any questions please do write to us and we will certainly try to answer it thank you